What's going on, boys? We've got one here from Alienated TV. A lot of modern women are delusional. Listen, rejection is God's way of redirecting you and protecting you. <laughs> when you get into astrology, you're looking for insight. Nobody who's actually knowledgeable about astrology is getting into it for hopes of winning lottery numbers, good luck, or to know something about their fate. You get wow. into astrology because you want to know more about yourself and your possible potential and your possibilities and the propensity that you possess. What a gullible idiot. Why is it that you can give a man like the most clear cut instructions give them the most simple task Bruh. and they'll still find a way to f it up they'll still find a way to be like huh Boo. the next minute is gonna be the best part of my day they're doing construction by my house so i'm driving past the same crew every day and i wave they're getting used to my car and they're waving back it's like I have friends. <laughs> Either I'm ugly, which is why guys don't talk to me, or I'm like too attractive that they're intimidated, which is why they don't talk to me. And I don't think I'm ugly, so I'm gonna go with option number two. Oh, really? Yo, am I the only straight girl that feels like she's in a heterosexual trap right now? How come every time I go outside, it's 58 bad bitches and half a good looking dude? You're such a donut. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you absolutely can stay delusional forever if you want to. I support it. If you want to just be 24-7 Delulu, I'm with you. Who are we hurting? Ourselves. But we do that anyway, so what's one more thing? It's a happier place, too. Oh my god! Reality has no place in my world, so... <laughs> I'm single by choice, because I have a fulfilling career where I am doing really important things! The rationalization hamster is a metaphorical creature dwelling deep in the minds of the delusional, and is common among young, liberal women. It's an animal which lives in a modern woman's brain and frantically spins the hamster wheel, which helps her rationalize and justify her thoughts, behavior, and actions, regardless of how nonsensical they may be. No amount of logic or reason can stop the hamster from spinning. Fact. Viewed within the context of the manosphere, the rationalization hamster can be recognized in many places, particularly when it comes to the modern woman's inflated sense of self and unrealistic dating standards. Tall or short men? Tall. 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 Would you ever date a short guy? No, I wouldn't. I don't think so. No. No, uh, no what the hell? <laughs> no, no. What do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Honestly, I kind of think I'm a 10. A 10? Um, a 10. A 10. 11. A 10. A 10, obviously. How much money should a guy make per year? Like a million? Two million? 300k. 500 grand? Mills. Minimum six figures, no matter what the situation is. 120k. Half a million? 500,000. Just to be clear, what are you? Prime. You're prime? Top notch. What makes you prime, top notch? Who tank? Oh, I mean, I have everything that you could possibly ask for as far as brains, beauty, ambition. I would build my man up to be everything he wants to be in this world. I'm, I'm the best investment he would ever make in his life. What the f She claims to have everything you could possibly ask for and likely believes this. However, the dialogue in her own head has no place in reality because unlike lying, hamstering requires the subject to believe that the statement she's making to be true. What a loser. This requires the logical processing functions of the brain to shut down in favor of the emotional parts. Dissociation like this is a coping mechanism for many modern women. For if she can't sell herself a false narrative... She'll find it much more difficult to manipulate men into holding her in higher regard. According to this commentator, modern women have an innately powerful capacity to be entirely delusional in a self-serving manner. Unhindered by logic and aided by dissociation, modern women are masterful liars. They're so good at lying to themselves that lying to you is simply a byproduct of their own delusion. Which is enforced by society because my little princess, those weak beta males that raise daughters where they spoil them and never say no and they're spineless and they do the same with their wives. This cycle starts because of men in weak households or men not present at all. Now it's being reinforced on a societal level through social media where they read a comment or, you know, just post a picture of yourself and you get a thousand yes, queens, boss, babe. Oh my God, you're the hottest. Oh, I can't believe you're so beautiful. That's... 
they gas each other up constantly all the time. So they do live in like a delusional world within their mind that they think is reality, but it really isn't. But society reinforced it. This is why most of this shit only happens in the West, because you go in other parts of the world. When people rate themselves, we've seen the videos before. It'll be like, how, how uh, attractive do you think you are? And the girl's like a four, a three, uh, maybe a six, you know, like reality. It's based in reality because there are consequences to being delusional in a world where you're given responsibilities from the family. You're expected to go out and earn. You're expected to go out and work and help and look after the cousins and the little sisters and the little brothers or help look after the parents. And you see the reality of the world and what it's like actually being a functional adult. You're not in some ultra rich, modern decadent society where your mistakes have no consequences and accountability is non-existent. You're allowed to constantly make mistakes because the government will come save you. Some simp will come save you. Somebody, a spineless daddy will come save you. You can make an OF and make millions of dollars. You could be saved. Nothing you do matters because there's a financial bailout for you in every angle imaginable. Now, it just depends how shameless you want to get. Now, the more shame you have, the harder it'll be for you. But we live in a society where as a woman, the less shame you have, the more you're given. So why not be delusional? Why not sell your butthole for $5.99 and make millions? Why not? You are rewarded. My shit's exclusive. I've invested in my body. I have a $150,000 body. No one barely touches me. Yes, you can see me on Instagram because I'm paid to do that. But nobody touches me unless a man, yes, does take care of me. I like bosses. I like millionaires. I like someone who's going to mentor me, teach me, and invest in me. And... Get me to my highest level as well. And just to be clear, what's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar body? Uh, four BBLs, uh, two breast augmentations, obviously Botox, lip injections, and then I had the fat buckle removed out of my cheeks. I don't give a shit. Many men don't appreciate Botox, augmented bazookas, hot dog lips, and gelatinous hind parts. <laughs> Most men don't even like makeup. Look at this clip, which shows a before and after. A majority of men would prefer the natural look because authenticity is important. I do not take my makeup off without a melting bomb, okay? And you shouldn't either. Later. Okay, now we moisturize with our Touch It Dewy Skin Cream. This is wonderful. All clean. And while on the topic of inauthenticity, watch out for special effects because we're living <laughs> in an increasingly fake world. I don't hate filters. They do not change my perception of my own beauty when I take it off. Like, they don't make me hate myself. However, you will never, oh my ever, God. ever catch me using a filter. Proof that social media is fake. Stop! Hey, we will not be bought. Hey man, the filters are absolutely insane. I went on a date not too long ago with this chick that looked like a stunner because of the filters. The AI filters that like tune your face up. Okay. It wasn't like angles. We're way past my space angles. We're way past that. We're straight up face tuning people up here, giving you brand new faces. Arrived on the date and was so goddamn disappointed. I could not believe it. It went from a gorgeous 10 to like, wow, just another chick. And now I wasted my time coming to dinner. And there's no way you can tell. So now the new strategy is you got to get on FaceTime. And even then, I found out that you could face, you can have filters live on your face while a video plays, while you're in a chat. There's no getting around it. I'm convinced we've entered an era where there's nothing you could do. There's no gym dates. They're like, all you can do maybe is like a beach date. You got, if you live near the ocean or somewhere with the lake, you got to take a chick to the beach, get her submerged in water to see what it looks like with everything off. That's it. Thank you, AI. Thank you, TikTok. And all these face apps, you ruined it. Lost around by a broad who's only a four. You son of a... Yeah. I'm at least a seven with filters. Yeah. And it would be remiss of me to not highlight the tactical attachments. I've been thinking of getting a BBL for the longest time. So I got it. Before... After... So getting back to the original clip, the $150,000 spent on enhancements might not even be a good investment. 
if the man she's trying to inveigle prefers natural ingredients. True. Strong preference, no plastic surgery, no fake tits, no fake lips, no BBL. Basically, take any woman who's had any of these procedures. I'd prefer them as they were. And to spend so much money on dangerous cosmetic procedures suggests a level of vanity that amounts to a huge red flag. Because a vain person usually has a grandiose view of themselves. In most instances, they put a great deal of emphasis on their appearance to cover up the insecurities on the inside. There we go. They want to camouflage the interior hurt. And mm -hmm. the best way to do this is to emphasize their presence. It's also more likely that the vain individual has a narcissistic personality disorder that's causing them to have these feelings. How young are you? 28. 28. And what age do you want to get married? Uh, I don't necessarily have a time restraint on myself. I feel like God's going to, you know, make me cross paths with my future husband when that time is right. <laughs> <laughs> She's dating without realistic intention while in the danger zone. Danger zone! And if she hasn't already done so, is about to hit the wall. She might then find herself single and lonely when she develops the superpower of invisibility in her later years. Invisibility? This is what <laughs> dating without a laser like focus on marriage can look like. Something I didn't really anticipate in my life being single is that the more successful you get, the more single kind of hurts. I am a very independent person. I pride myself on like, I can do anything alone. You've seen me talk about it on here. But mm -hmm. I'm at a point in my life right now where I am arguably the most successful I've ever been personally. Four to one, she dies alone. I'm more financially secure than I've been in many years, all doing things that I built myself. But... but at the end of the day, I come home to my house that I bought myself. Oh my God! And? And I have nobody to talk to about any of this. Oh. Since effinism tells women they can have it all, many women postpone marriage and children, focus on their career, and stay on the dating carousel as long as possible. Subvert the patriarchy. If women want to avoid a life of loneliness, they should recognize that the wall is real and that male to female desirability is rarely enhanced by achievement. And how convinced are you that a man is attracted to a girl with ambition, brains, $10 million in real estate, or just being nice and sweet? What do you think a man is most interested in, especially the man that you're looking for who's worth millions of dollars? Does he want a, a, a ambitious boss babe or a nice, <clears throat> compliant, beautiful girl that doesn't give him headaches? What do you think most men like that would prefer? My man. I'm not looking for what most men or most. Well, you should be because you want like. that kind of guy. So you what should be. What do you mean? I, no, I'm looking so for I'm like asking, that that one in a million where I'm. You're looking at like Grant and Elaine Cardone. You're looking at okay. like you know power couples, Jay Z, Beyonce. Those people are building an empire together and they're equally contributing. So I respect on that, but let's play in reality right now. You're not going to marry Jay Z or Grant Cardone for the sake of this conversation. You're going to marry some no, successful my own. guy. I'm have exactly. My own. <laughs> exactly. So that guy, how much is he worth? Close. Make to, up a number. A hundred million. Are you serious? She's full of champagne wishes and caviar dreams. <laughs> As a what in the world, bro? One hundred million dollars. You're 28 years old at the time of that video. Apparently, you've had hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of work just to keep up a look that younger women have naturally. You're not even dating with any intention to find this man. You're just gonna let the stars align, and he's gonna come into my life. A hundred millionaire, and then you expect a hundred millionaire to pick you. Why wouldn't the 100 millionaire pick 10 20-year-olds that each give him a taste of novelty day after day after day? Unreal. Wow. That level of delusion. Touche. Of 2023, there are 25,490 centimillionaires in the world. 9,730 live in the U.S. This means she's only willing to choose from a pool of men who will amount to a fraction of a percent of the population. What? The rationalization hamster has a lot to answer for because the deluded, vain, and conceited often live in a fantasy world. Okay, so that guy that's worth a hundred million dollars, yes. go with me here now, yes. Kay. Does he want a boss babe who's trying to sell real estate or a trying? nice, lovely, compliant girl who's willing to get on his schedule? What do you think that guy wants? Good question. Well, I only date men that are at the high. No, 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 no. I'm not asking so, what uh, you think. I don't care what you think. I want to know what he thinks. They're constantly pursuing me. 
What well, do you mean? Why, why aren't you married to one yet, though? Because I don't want to be married to one yet. I thought you just I've been building you... my own business. But I thought I've you... been proposed to twice and turned it down. It wasn't you the right one. You turned down a guy worth $100 million twice? Mm, $50 million, but yes. Why in the world would you turn him down? Because I still had things to do. So you think that you're just going to go find another guy <laughs> worth $50 million is ready to wipe no, you up? No, I, like I said, $100 million. I like to okay, double so down. Okay, so the $50 million guy was just too poor for you. No, he just wasn't the right one. <laughs> you do realize... <laughs> There might be people in the comments calling you absolutely delusional right now. That's Do you fine. realize that? I don't care what they have to say. That's nonsense. In 2021, there were approximately 215,000 individuals worldwide with a net worth of at least 50 million U.S. dollars. If we assume all of these individuals are male, this means she's turned down a 0.0027% offer of marriage. <laughs> but is it any surprise that many modern women are delusional when advice of this caliber is imparted so frequently. So it seems that a lot of ladies are getting divorced before they turn 30. And as someone who got married at 26, has been separated for a little over a year, 32. Being in your 20s is the trenches. There is nothing better than being in your 30s, still being hot, maybe having a little bit of your own money, figuring out what you want to do with your life, everything, and having tried that married fantasy and realizing that it's maybe not all it's cracked up to be, and then you've got your whole life still ahead of you. Um, so for all of those people who are stressed or feeling stressed about that, about being divorced, like, it's, a, it's, it's good. Congratulations. Right. This all sounds like an attempt to quell the cognitive unease of failing at marriage and now being single. Leftover women who stubbornly strengthen their commitment to the strategy of casual dating often cope like this because the rationalization hamster is selling her a lie <laughs> and telling other women that divorce is something to be admired might well be an indication of low moral character. She's the village bicycle. Another quality of the vain is that they're exceptionally focused on material possessions. They believe that their accomplishments in life are all about material gains. They want the biggest and best homes, cars, clothes, jewelry, and anything else that gets them the attention they desire. Jay is worth a hundred million dollars. Uh -huh. Okay, do you think, think about it, money. he cares how much money you make? No. You don't? Okay, let's stop there. Do you think he cares about your attitude? He, uh, to an extent, yeah. To an extent? Yeah. He cares a lot about your attitude. He cares a lot about your okay. attitude. But I have a great attitude. Now, no, you okay. Don't. <laughs> oh my God. You're not worth $100 million, so your opinion doesn't matter. Am I living in a fing nightmare right now? <laughs> the person who suffers from vanity issues is often disagreeable or rude. <laughs> Holy hell. When hell. cornered, they'll come out swinging. They'll wow. put you down, resort to using derogatory terms, and do anything in their power to maintain their facade of perfection. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right are their tools of choice. Now, here's my question to you. If that dude comes along, do you think he wants an agreeable woman or a non-agreeable, disagreeable woman? That dude with our $100 million. What do you want? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Yeah, you better f***ing agree. Now, I'm not saying vanity can't be used to motivate healthy behaviors. But if you're so full of vanity and conceit that it shows, you're telling the world that you can't be trusted. Vanity causes obsession. If you're obsessed with yourself, then that's the only person you truly care about. Conceited people can't be counted on. They're untrustworthy. And the modern woman's vanity is one of the many reasons why men simply don't want to date in the first place. I've just discovered the reason why it's so hard to find a good guy dating in 2023. And it's not because there aren't any left and that all men are disgusting and all men are trash. That is completely false, no matter what you hear from other girls on TikTok. The truth is that the good guys are done with dating. They would rather be single and have their peace than be in a relationship and not be treated correctly. They're done playing the games, okay? Girls not being monogamous, them not texting them back, them giving them mixed signals, them opening up and sharing their feelings and then a girl breaking up with them. They don't wanna deal with that. They'd rather work a lot, go home, play some video games, watch a movie, and spend time with their dog or themselves than ever have to deal with women. I just want to know. I just want to know which one of you ladies messed it up for everyone because dating out here is so hard. I like this one. It's not any one woman who's responsible. 
Our culture of convenience has paradoxically made dating more difficult for men, as we're forced into a hyper-competitive, superficial environment. Exactly. Superficial environment. It's all delusion. Socially engineered. And then someone writes, I was engaged to a woman like this 32 years ago. I just finished my ER and she wanted to look at houses. I thought, great. So I picked her up and said, where to? She brought me to an exclusive island neighborhood in the area. We've seen all those homes. One acre, 5,000 square foot, extra wide bluestone driveway and perfectly manicured hedges and lawn. I was thinking 2,200 square feet, three to two bathroom near the hospital for 70K, not 800,000. Long story short, we didn't marry. She has since been married and divorced three times. At age of 60, she is currently living a 1,500 a month, 1,200 square foot apartment. She was gorgeous, 9.9 .9 in her 20s and still extremely good looking. Unfortunately, her expectations can't be met by even the top 5%. She needs 500K a year in play money and four months of vacation annually. Not going to happen. She'll never learn. Sad. Well, she still won. Think about that. Three divorces. She got a ton out of all those. All those guys took care of her. She had, that was life on easy mode. Unfortunately, she just made the wrong decision of not sticking with one. So she's going to end up dying alone. But she was never lonely. There's a huge difference. Who knows what she got out of all those men? She's got assets, bro. She's not uh, struggling. And that's one of the bailouts that women get. Dumb men that don't know any better. Because it's not a male loneliness epidemic. It's a loss of your beast of burden epidemic. I married a perfect woman. She saved herself for marriage, was 100% committed to birthing our four kids and raising them. I come home from work and the kids were all well taken care of. Our home clean, our world was organized, and I have true peace. She waited until the kids were out of the house to resume her school studies and graduate with her bachelor's degree. She now works in our family businesses and helping to build our little empire. She's caring, concerned about me, and focuses on our marriage. I do the same. When I got the news my little sister passed away, as I began to cry, she left a room to allow for my moment of grief. She would no more dishonor me as I would her. These women are out there. Also, she has never heard of O fans and doesn't even have an Instagram account. This is what a high quality woman looks like. And that's the perfect way to end it. They are out there, unfortunately, in the world we live in today. That's a rare occurrence as time passes, but they are out there, especially overseas. I recommend only having fun out here in the West if you even want to waste your time going out on dates and, you know, investing the bare minimum in women. But don't ever get married in the West. Build hard in your 20s, play in your 30s. Once you got a little bit of cash saved up, once you've built a business, once you've become more seasoned in the position that you're in at your job, and then you start to travel overseas, you'll understand. It's the best path forward for a man today. Anything that deviates from that, you're opening yourself up to too much risk. To get emotionally invested in somebody that's been infantilized by society today and told that their actions don't have consequences and that they're the table and that they deserve the cake and the cherry on top, it's absolutely wild. Why would you even waste time being over here overseas myself and seeing the difference, especially how my grandma is, my mother is, how the women out here are compared to the ones in the West. It's mind blowing. You have real women out here in the other parts of the world that still provide tremendous, indispensable value to a man's life. And once you see what you're really missing, you'll never go back. We'll see you guys on the next one.